हेलो डियर फ्रेंड्स दिस इज देवाशीष एंड आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू माय चैनल स्टैटिस्टिक्स क्यूरियोसिटी फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी विल लर्न अबाउट राव ब्लैकवेल थ्योरम ओके इट इज़ एन इम्पॉर्टेंट थ्योरम इन स्टैटिस्टिकल इन्फ्रेंस टॉपिक ओके सो बिफोर अंडरस्टैंडिंग अबाउट राव ब्लैकवेल थ्योरम एंड इट्स एप्लीकेशन वी शुड फर्स्ट अंडरस्टैंड ए फ्यू टर्म्स these terms are unbiased estimator sufficient statistic and uniformly minimum variance unbiased estimator umv ue okay so let me quickly uh, introduce you with these three terms the first term is unbiased estimator so let's say t t is a function of random sample x1 x2 up to xn okay and uh, we need to estimate a population parameter say theta it is a parameter okay parameter is nothing but the uh, function of population values you already know that and uh, t stat uh, estimator or say statistic it is a function of sample values and we need to estimate t using t okay if this t if the expected value of this t expectation of t is equals to theta then we say t is unbiased estimator of theta now next term sufficient statistic sufficient statistic let's say t again t it is a statistic function of sample values it will be called a sufficient statistic for theta if it contains full information about theta this is a definition but if uh, uh, we uh, we want to understand it how we can obtain a sufficient statistic so there is a theorem there is a theorem named factorization theorem neyman factorization theorem using this theorem we can find sufficient statistic for any parameter say theta okay so let me quickly introduce you with the steps of this theorem there are a few step first step is we need to write the pdf or pmf of the random variable x okay and then we write the likelihood say l and likelihood is nothing but the product of this pdf okay and if we can break this likelihood and write it in in this form the form is gt comma theta multiply hx if we write this likelihood into product of two terms you can see first term is dependent on both t and theta the uh, statistic or the estimator to be uh, or the or the statistic t and the parameter and the parameter theta this this part contains both these two values and this another part is independent of both of these values this part may be a function of x but this will not contain t and theta okay so if we can write this likelihood into these two in in into this form product of these two terms then we say that t is t or t capital t okay. is uh, sufficient test sufficient statistic for parameter theta okay so this one is for sufficient statistic now let's understand the third term u m v u e uniformly minimum variance unbiased estimator what this tells us uh, this u m v u is if we have several unbiased estimators say t1 t2 or you can write capital t1 t2 okay if you have several unbiased estimators all of these are unbiased expectation of t1 is also theta 
expectation of t2 is also theta okay then the estimator which have the minimum variance okay say t star it has the minimum variance okay the variance of t star is less than every other uh, the variance of every other estimator then we will say t star is minimum variance unbiased estimator let me write minimum variance unbiased estimator okay so this these are the three terms now we will start rao blackwell theorem now before uh, also there is a thing we need to understand what is the background what is the need of rao blackwell theorem why we need this okay so there is a theorem named kramer rao inequality there is an inequality kramer rao inequality okay kramer rao inequality this inequality also gives minimum variance and wise estimator but there are certain regularity conditions under which this inequality holds so rao and blackwell gives a theorem named rao blackwell theorem so it basically gives a improved estimator t improved estimator t which is based on sufficient statistic and unwise estimator both which is based on both okay it is a improved statistic whose variance is smaller than the variance of that unwise est estimator so that you can ultimately find minimum variance unbiased estimator this process uh, this process of finding minimum variance unbiased estimator using a sufficient statistic and an unbiased estimator this process uh, by the way is called uh, blackwellization okay this process is sometimes called blackwellization let me write it it is blackwellization okay so this is uh, basically we need rao blackwell theorem in order to attain a improved estimator which has minimum variance which has uh, minimum variance than the that unbiased estimator okay now moving further with uh, the statement of rao blackwell theorem okay let x1 x2 up to xn is a random sample of size n from pmf or pdf fx theta okay let t and t1 t is a function of this random sample i already told you and t1 is also a function of this random sample both are statistic okay so t is sufficient statistic for gamma theta gamma theta is basically a function of parameter theta it may be equal to theta or theta square or something any function of theta okay and t t is a sufficient statistic for theta and t1 is unbiased estimator of gamma theta both t t is sufficient statistic for gamma theta and t1 is unbiased estimator of gamma theta okay these are the two conditions with which we already uh, assume to be satisfied okay so uh, now consider a function phi t considering a function phi t phi t is basically a statistic and is a function of sufficient statistic capital t phi t which is equals to expectation t1 given t equal to small t okay it is a function phi t then according to rao blackwell theorem expectation of phi t will be equal to gamma theta what does it mean it, does, it it means phi t is also an unbiased estimator of gamma theta and variance of phi t will be less than equal to variance of t1 t1 is what t1 is unbiased estimator of gamma theta i already uh, told you earlier that we have created a improved created improved estimator whose variance will be improved estimator that improved estimator is phi t actually its variance is less than the variance of t1 t1 is unbiased estimator of gamma theta and it is also unbiased so basically it gives minimum variance unbiased estimator okay 
so rao blackwell theorem actually gives an idea actually gives an a function which basically gives an estimator that has minimum variance that have okay so the this is the statement of rao blackwell theorem uh, so also uh, i should also tell you the steps steps to apply this rao blackwell theorem in a particular numerical suppose we need to find an uh, unbiased minimum variance unbiased estimator of parameter theta in a particular case say in poison for poison distribution or for exponential distribution okay then what we will do we will need two things first we will need a, a sufficient statistic t and second we need a unbiased estimator t1 so first we will write its likelihood pdf then likelihood okay and then what we will do we will find sufficient statistic using factorization theorem that i mentioned earlier okay that sufficient statistic will be t then what we will do we will find an unbiased estimator unbiased estimator t1 i already told you about that unbiased estimator okay then what we will do we will take a function phi t which is equals to expectation t1 given t so to find this expectation we need to find the conditional distribution of t1 given t okay we need to find what we need to find the conditional distribution of conditional distribution of i can write this as distribution of t1 given t so i can write this as probability of t1 given say t equal to small t okay then we need conditional distribution probability of t1 given t which is equals to which is equals to joint probability function divided by marginal okay marginal of t joint of t1 and t divided by marginal of t okay then what we'll do after finding this conditional distribution what we'll do we will find expectation of this okay expectation of this expectation of phi t to find expectation we need the probability function of that random variable and after finding this probability function we can easily find expectation of this so after finding the conditional distribution what we will do we will find expectation of phi t we will find expectation of phi t okay and that expectation of phi t must be equal to the parameter and using rao blackwell theorem it will be equal to the parameter or the function of parameter for which you are looking to for which you are looking for uh, minimum variance and wise estimator so that phi t which is which will be created using this expected value of this after you find expected value of uh, this t1 con conditional distribution of this then the that function will be say that function is x bar then x bar will be the unbiased estimator that that x bar will be minimum variance unbiased estimator using that rao blackwell theorem so actually these steps are fundamental steps okay using these steps you can solve the questions you can follow these steps and solve the numerical okay so that's it for today and if you have any doubt or any questions then let me know in comment section and thank you for watching